One thing that my wife and I really sometimes have a disagreement on and have to really work out is I really want to be hardcore and say, in the house, we never use cleaning products other than lemon, vinegar, baking soda, and I feel like I just don't want the chemicals in the house. And she says, listen, the toilet sometimes smells, there's, there's, there's mold in the shower, and I don't want to live in a gross house. And we go back and forth, and I say, this is serious business, and she says, I don't want it to be disgusting. So what should, what should my wife and I do about our household cleaning product situation? Loosen up a little bit on the vinegar that smells like hell, although it works and it kills more microbes than the deadly chemicals she's using, but there's an in-between. Mm -hmm. There are Shackley products and other companies that really led the way 70, 80 years ago in organic products and environmental products. Uh, but there's many of these, you know, what is it, seventh generation now, which is why... Biodegradable. Biodegradable. And so there are in-between. So what is user-friendly for a modern woman like your wife, you now can find in organic or user-friendly and green-friendly mm -hmm. products. So don't be hardcore to the point where you say, if you want to clean, you can only do it with vinegar and God knows what else. I see a wonderful Christmas presents under the tree for your wife. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that would be the end of the marriage. <laughs> Should we burn candles in our house? Mm -hmm. Well, I love candles, but I don't use any toxic candles. I, usually they're made of bee, uh, bee soy. soy, yeah. Um, when we go through to the airport and they have the full body scanner, where they, you hold your hands up and you turn around, um, one, should we use this? And two, did I see a new one that was magnetic instead of radiation? Does that make a difference? Uh, I have never gone through one of those scanners, even after 9-11. And I think anyone listening that has any real concern for your health and longevity should follow suit with that. And there's an international law, if you opt out, the word is opt out, you don't have to go through these scanners. And now before 9-11, uh, we actually wouldn't even have them put through the conveyor belt the bags. Now understandably after 9-11 there's a purpose for that. Uh, there was a law before 9-11 that literally said you had to visually look at what was in those bags. So you could carry food and other things along. Now there's, we teach at Hippocrates ways to protect what you have in there by having little cards, electromagnetic interrupters, et cetera. But please, don't put your body through that. And there are different variations on this, but they have brainwashed the poor minimum wage employees that work with TSA and other organizations globally and told them that it's unhealthy. I found out a, through a document a year ago, the average length of stay at these jobs is two and a half months. And I suspect, uh, because I've heard it around the world when I opt out every time, uh, some of the people come over, usually the younger ones, and say to me, why don't you do that? I say, it's very harmful. This is separating your cells, changing the biofrequency fields of your body. You know, you have 100 trillion cells. Each one is supposed to be operating at 75 hertz. And we don't know what it does, but it alters, it reduces the 75 hertz. So, uh, and, and one guy said to me in Canada one time, I'm going to quit this job. And I said, you should. He said, I'm anxious. He said, I'm a very calm guy. I come to work every day and I'm anxious. By the time I get out, I'm wired. I can't even sleep at night. Hmm. Did you just say that you don't want to? Yes, it's called opt out. There's nowhere on the planet Earth, I travel the Earth constantly, that you ever have to go through one of these units. It's but then they manually, they, they frisk pat you. you down. They pat you, get, you down. You get a massage. You just pat you. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any concern about everyday blow drying your hair? Well, it, blow you drying know, your hair every when day. When you're holding a blow dryer, you know that you get more EMF than if you're standing under the high volt. Uh, you could actually get much more. So you're you're uh, electrifying yourself. You, you're electrocuting yourself. You really are. It, and it, you know, this is not electricity that your body has you're working on a totally different level. So you're just uh, a frequency, you're disturbing uh, your whole system actually. Do and you your hair is not doing good with it. If you got all of the, my hair, 
All of the hairdressers we know that use it are hair barber shops. They get ionic ones. They're not perfect, but ionic is mm. supposedly much, much, much better. They're grounded in some way.